Good morning, you guys, and happy Christmas Eve. So I just woke up uh, maybe like half an hour ago. Flipping A. Ow. Okay, so I know I look like death right now, and that's okay. I just woke up. I'm fine with that. And plus, for the first part of the day, I'm baking. Now, I have a list of things. I, I'm i usually the one that bakes everything, like makes desserts, and then the rest of my family will make, you know, the actual food. Because I don't know why I just suck at making it. Unless it's like a mac and cheese, then I ain't big balling it. So, I was like, just leave me to desserts. So, the desserts I'm making today is going to be Buckeyes, some chocolate chip cookies, and probably just some sugar cookies because it's Christmas and that's like a classic. Well, it's Christmas Eve. It's still a classic. Let's get to it. It's 8.30 in the morning, by the way, just so you know. 8.30 in the morning, Christmas Eve. What my day looks like is I'm going to be baking for the first part. My family's going to cook their food for a Christmas Eve meal. And then we have to decorate stockings because not everyone in my family has stockings. And then we're going to go look at Christmas lights, drink hot chocolate, watch Christmas movies, bake the sugar cookies after because we make cookies for Santa, you know. Cause you know, Santa's coming to town. We gotta take that serious, you know. He, he only comes one a year, okay? So, I'm watching you. I think I'm gonna start off with, mm, well, let's start with the, uh, let's start with the bug eyes. You know, those aren't too hard. They're just easy. Ouch. Okay, so I'm thinking that if I add like one part, peanut butter one part confectioner's sugar it'll be fine and then just like a tad bit of butter and i'll just beat it all together you know come on let's not make it as hard as it is okay come on okay so i am using one part dark chocolate one part semi-sweet that's all i got this glass bowl i'm so happy this is my dad in the back he's dead You know what I'm missing? Butter. I didn't add any butter. Okay, so for those Buckeyes, everything I used is I use half a cup of creamy peanut butter, one cup of confectioner's sugar, and then about two tablespoons of butter, and I literally just blended it all together and then clumped it together, rolled it in balls, and then stuck it in the fridge. That's everything I did for it. This is what it looks like. So it's kind of like a little bit crumbly but it also sticks together. So I'm just gonna grab a nice little thing and scoop them. What I'm using is this, it's like kind of like a butter scoop, I think is what it's called. And I'm just gonna roll it out and put it on my parchment paper and then stick it in the fridge. Now that I have my, let's see if you can see it. Now that you see my pretty little ball, I'm gonna put it on the parchment paper. I finished all the balls, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them in the fridge, and I'm just gonna let them cool in there for like two hours once I've done the chocolate chip cookies. Now, I'm gonna make my chocolate chip cookies. Update, I found a hair tie. I'm following a recipe online, so I don't want you guys to come for me. I need one cup of butter softened, and by the way, I'll add the recipe I'm using down in the bio, unsalted and one stick salted. Just cause then I don't have to add salt and it already has it. Wash your hands. Craft contamination. Good job. Preheat to 350. Good job. I have my white sugar and my brown sugar. And so you're gonna do one cup of each and make sure your brown sugar's packed. I'm watching you. We are gonna beat this mixture until it's creamy. Right now, I got two eggs over here. And I'm gonna beat them in one at a time. Now I'm gonna add two teaspoons. I'm gonna stir in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I've been baking a lot for the past couple weeks just because it's like Christmas time and stuff. And I really do feel that I have overused my stay in vanilla extract. Anyways, here we are. 
Hot diggity dog. Now it says to stir it in. And oh, you know what? If you don't know how to fold, let me show you real quick. Let me give you a little gander. So you, how I do it is I go like this and then pull down. Around, down the middle. Around, down the middle. We're getting into some wild stuff up in here because I've never heard of this. They want me to dissolve the baking soda in water. I've never done that before, but okay. Never done that. I'm adding the baking soda into my little dish. And now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of hot water. This is really new to me. I've never seen this. I got two tablespoons of hot water. Now I'm mixing it. Okay, I used hot water, but I really don't feel like it's dissolving. <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's whatever. But um, I'm gonna get my three cups of flour while I'm uh, contemplating my life choices. I told you, this is my first time doing it. Why can't I just add the baking soda? What's the purpose of that? I'm not trying to be mean and like attack the idea. I just, I legitimately have no clue what it does. That's why I'm, that's why I'm questioning. Um, this is what my wet batter looks like. Now I'm gonna measure out three cups of flour into the separate bowl, cause I'm gonna add it when I mix it. Now that I have my three cups of flour, if you didn't use salted butter, then you can use salt at this point but I just need to add my flour in. And so I'm gonna uh, stir in my flour. And the thing, like the little recipe thing, whatever, I also did say that you could add like your nuts and chocolate chips at this point. But I like to do it afterwards, I guess. I'm just different. Okay, so now that my, wash my hands, sorry, that's why they wet. What did I even say? Now that I stirred in my flour and I have my dough consistency, I'm gonna add consistency. Now that I have my dough consistency, I am going to add my chocolate chips. I'm gonna add half semi-sweet, half milk. There we go. So if you didn't get that, 10 minutes. All right, so these have been in the fridge for a little over an hour. So I have dark and I have milk chocolate and I have my little toothpicks that I'll be using to dip them with and then I'm just going to set them back on the parchment paper and I think I'm just going to set it back in the fridge hey it's working cool yes I'm literally like a child with chocolate on my face I'm done baking now I need to organize because I buy my parents stocking stuffers you know and presents and all that and now I need to make sure that I have enough stocking stuffers for their stockings. So we're gonna look at that now. So with our family, we always try, we always like fill our stockings with like candy, you know what I mean? So for my mom's stocking, she loves cotton candy. So I've got her cotton candy, animal crackers. She loves animal crackers. I try to get like their childhood favorite things that they used to get, you know? Cause um, maybe a TMI, but my mom's parents passed away. So she doesn't have any parents. My dad, his dad passed away and I know his mom is over in Idaho right now. So I try to get them stuff to kind of reminisce their childhood, I guess, you know, just make them feel a little bit more homey. Um, got these chocolate covered Santa marshmallows. That's for both of them. My dad's got animal crackers. Oh my gosh. So I found these and I know that my family used to have these, they're Pez. So I got my mom Belle and then I got my dad Luigi. I don't know, I'm just an icon. I really can't help it, I don't know. Of course, cause my family doesn't take anything serious. I got them both cold. On the other hand, I have Kisses. I think I'm just gonna sprinkle this in each of theirs, unless I got two separate bags. I have two Twizzlers because they both like Twizzlers. At least I think they do. I have Santa's sack, which is just a mixture of chocolates. I'm just gonna sprinkle in both of theirs. Got them both reindeer mix. I got my dad turtle. I also got them, because I feel like it's just a classic thing to get them like, you know, the big Santa. And then finally, I just have these little, like, little Debbie Christmas cakes. I used to eat these like a fat kid, dude. I was, I was bad. I was, 
I mean, I was a fat kid, so it makes sense. Looking at it, I mean, I think that's enough for their stockings. My brother's also bringing some gift cards and stuff like that that we're also gonna put in there. Hey guys, so obviously we're in a different place now. I am in the car with my mom. Mom, say hi. Hi. So we're heading over to Target right now because there's this face serum that my mom really wants and we need to get a couple things for the dinner. So we're just gonna head over to Target and grab that. And then, oh, and I'm like wearing this like oversized shirt that I'm wearing as a dress, turtleneck, necklace, XOXO. I'll see you guys when I'm at Target getting the stuff. Say bye, mom. Merry Christmas. Mark Crossler, happy Christmas Eve. Okay, so we're not gonna talk about the lighting right now, but we've made my mom's making the mac and cheese and we got stuffing we got ham in the oven we got rolls now what are we doing mom we are making stockings yes not everyone in our family has stockings so we decided this year we just wanted to paint stockings and my brother and my sister-in-law will not be here to paint so we're painting for them Lame. i'll show you guys my stocking after i'm done so see y'all in a minute hey guys so we just finished with our stockings and we finished with making all of our food it's like five o'clock now so we what we usually do is we'll put on a movie and this is how the grinch stole christmas and we'll put on a movie and we'll eat dinner while we watch movie and talk and i'll show you our stockings real quick they're outside drying so if you look right here, this is my mom, and then this is my dad, his name's Ricky, and then this is my sister-in-law's that we made for her, my brother's, which we made for him, and then this one is mine, and when it's dry, I'm gonna put Dream Street right there, just cause I feel like it represents me. This is our little Christmas table. This is my dad. He said, hey, how are you? Merry Christmas day turn around this is my mom mom say hi. hi you look beautiful you're stunning so here's the thing we're not gonna lie we're an honest family okay we're an honest family so here let me let me tell you what's happened so far okay oh. yes so uh, first my mom burned the ham let me show the ham so this is the ham my mom actually turned it over so you can't really see how burnt it really is and then she burnt her mac and cheese, okay? Keep in, keep in mind, she's made this recipe multiple times. And this isn't me outing you, I just think it's funny because each one were, was in the oven at a different time, yet each of them ended up somehow burnt. So then on top of that, so first she burned the ham, right? Took out the ham, we're like, dang it. So then we're baking her mac and cheese. And you know, she's like, you know, put it in for 20 minutes, do what you need to do, and then we're gonna boil it. She ends up burning it because she forgot about it because we were making our stockings. So second, so that's the second thing she burns. Third thing she burns is our rolls. And she was like so set. She was like, I am not gonna burn these rolls. I'm not, I'm just not going to. Come to, she takes a step away. She's showing us a video of a dog and then she burns the rolls. We ripped off half of the tops. <laughs> Mom, do you have anything you want to say? Anything you want to say to everyone? It was all out of love. It, it was, was all out of love. love. It was out of love. Yeah. So, yeah. It's their fault. <laughs> It How? was their fault because I was watching this and then everybody kept calling me away. No one calls you away. I, I don't know heard in my head that people were calling me away. <laughs> no one called you away, dude. I don't know what you're getting at. Anyways, so yeah, my washer's right there. Probably should sit right there. Anyways, so we have cranberry sauce. We got some burnt rolls, we got green beans, stuffing, burnt ham, and burnt mac and cheese that we're having for well, dinner. Then. It's really good. I think it's gonna taste good either way. I'm just happy that I get some food. So I'm content. But just thought you guys should know. I don't want you guys to think that, oh my gosh, we're like so perfect and we're perfectionists. Like, no, dude, we just burnt three of our main things so that we love. I'm gonna eat some food. We're all gonna eat some food, say our prayers, 
and then we're gonna watch a Christmas movie with, you know, a big old belly. So I'll see y'all in a minute. I finished eating and I feel like I'm like man that was a lot ah hot diggity dog I'm changing into my PJs now because I feel like that's what the time's called for so I'm changing into my PJs we're gonna finish watching how the Grinch stole Christmas and then we'll probably make some hot chocolate and then get on the road and go look at some Christmas lights because that's just our you know family tradition on Christmas Eve, we always go look at Christmas lights. So I'm gonna change this to my PJs. I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, so you can't, it's really hard to see, but um, I'm basically in a black sweatshirt and some, uh, let's see if you can see the design. It's like little reindeers, something like that, you know? And um, I got these last year. They're cute in my opinion, so, and I always wear fuzzy socks. So now let's go downstairs. Hey besties. So it's around 8.30 right now and I'm making some hot chocolate. And then we're gonna hit the road and go look at some Christmas lights. Hey mom, show everyone your outfit. <laughs> show everyone the fit. The fit. You can't tell me my mom doesn't look fly. She looks fly 24 seven. I'm also making M&M cookies to give to my family tomorrow. So, we just watched the movie for like a straight two hours. We watched Jingle All the Way and How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. And now we're making hot chocolate. And then we're gonna hit the road, go look at some Christmas lights and you know, just hang out, listen to Christmas music. But I'll bring you guys around, come on. So we just got back from looking at lights and that was fun. Um, I'll admit though, my dad's truck kind of started uh, swerving a little bit. That was a little bit scary. And, uh, but anyways, I came home and I made Santa some cookies cause Santa needs his cookies. Okay, don't come for me. I still do that. Yes, 19 years old and I still make Santa cookies cause he deserves it. And now it's snowing. I'll show you guys the snow right now. I'm really praying that it's a white Christmas. I've been dreaming of a white Christmas. I've never had a white Christmas. So this would be chef's kiss. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so it is 11 o'clock now and I'm gonna fill my parents' stockings because I'm also Santa. Keep that a secret, okay? Even the elves don't know, so. So, don't mind my dirty hamper in the background. She's just hanging. We painted stockings, but of course, they're not dry. We're using our last year's ones. Um, This is my mom's old one. I made it for her. I made both of these, actually. And then this is my dad's. Super cute, just lights. Oh, I should also probably say... They are divorced, but they get along. It's a, it's kind of like a win-win situation for me at this point because that doesn't usually happen. So, call it luck or God's will, if you will. Anyways, let's fill these up. Now we have everything out. It's time to insert it into your beautiful stockings. Always stay prepared. This little handful. I always want the fun stuff to be poking out. These are animal crackers. Put that in here because it's like, eh. Um, put this in here because it's like, eh. Mm -hmm. Fancy stuff. And this. Yeah. So she is done. Look at that. 
Look at how cute that is. Time to order my nuts. I'm gonna be putting everything the same basically, except that he has a Luigi. Da -da -da -da. My little Santa. Animal crackers, because they're fun, but not too fun. And then my very nice. It is fun, but not too fun. So I got my dad. That's it. I'm done. And then tomorrow, my brother's bringing some gift cards to put in them. So, with that being said, I'm basically done for the night. So, it's 11. It's probably like 11 15, 11 30 now. And I'm gonna go to bed. I already did my night routine. I, I'm gonna head to bed. Happy Christmas Eve. I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Yes, I'm saying on my floor. You're amazing, and I love you. Love you, besties. It is Christmas Day, and I was really hoping that it will be a white Christmas, and I haven't looked out the window yet. Kind of a white Christmas. I'll take what I can get. Merry Christmas, first of all. What we're gonna do today is we wait for my brother to come. We open presents, then afterwards we have a breakfast, listen to Christmas music, watch a Christmas movie. Merry Christmas, everyone. Love you guys, have safe holidays, praying for the best. And I'll see you guys soon. I have to go do my thigh master workout now because that's for another video, so. Merry Christmas, besties. Say Merry Chrysler. It's okay, she looks cute.